taking shortcuts will burn you in the ass every time. Case in point, the day before yesterday, I was checking the oil on the truck here and a couple other things, you know, just giving it a nice once over under the hood like I do not often enough. And I noticed that my brake cables were corroded a little bit from the off gassing from the battery charging. So I just grabbed some water, hosed off the residue, looked pretty good. That was fine, worked great. See, we didn't drive it any yesterday, but then today, Ashton and I got in it and we drove around, actually went to a couple of distilleries and did some shopping. No problems, got all the way back to the house. A while ago, I went out to go pick up something, came out of the store, hit the key. Come out here and I just kind of grabbed the cables, worked them a little bit, not that there's much movement in them, they're nice and tight, but just just a little bit of movement I did do, which I think it's the negative cables here are a little corroded where they're clamped on right here. So I'm gonna take both the cables off, clean everything up real good, like it should have been done to begin with. So I figured since I had to do that, I'll bring you along for the ride while I clean my battery cables. Battery cables, clean them. This is the original battery clamp. That is not. When I first bought this truck two years ago, I took these off, cleaned them up real good. And honestly, this is the first time I've had them off since. Take it negative off first. It's always a good rule of thumb. I'll bring you over here and show you what I'm talking about, the mess I made. By just pouring water on there, all it did was loosen up and release all the corrosion and made a big old mess. So now we got to clean that up, clean the post, clean the inside of the cables. And I'll take this loose and pull these cables actually out and clean them up again, get them down to bare copper, clean this underside that all back together and have a nice good solid connection and hopefully we won't have to revisit this situation for another couple of years that would put you on the headband but it's hot well, besides I got a hat on all right you see the negative up in there and the positive up in this one negative to negative get this down to some clean lead here Read it. the reason you got different sizes because negative is always just slightly smaller than the positive on a battery post. They might have to get a little wire brush and work on this a little bit too. I don't think I have a small wire brush. All I have is this behemoth right here. You don't want to breathe that crap in either because it's got a nasty smell and for starters and then it's leaves a metallic acidy taste in the back of your throat for the next three days. Probably need to do this to the white truck as well. You know what they say, plumber always has leaky pipes and the mechanic's car always needs work done. I think we'll call that clean enough. Residue off the top of the battery. All this excessive off-gassing, yeah, it could be the weather where it's been hot and humid, or it could be telling me that the battery is starting to go south. There we go. It looks a little better than it did a while ago. Now we clean these cables up. Hopefully it'll start. We can roll this up a little bit. Now, we take this off and clean those cable ends. And we also want to clean that. That probably had a lot to do with the uh, not wanting to start. After putting the water on there, it built up a little rust. I 
think we've got some fairly clean copper there, about as clean as it's going to get. That ought to do. Clean cables here. Much better. I'll grab some keys and see if she'll start. Well, I believe it even runs a little better. You know, cars with electronic control modules and such, fuel injected. If you don't have a really good charging system doing what it's supposed to do 100% all the time, you get little sketchy issues, you know, like your idle air control motor here might be not stepping just the way it should, or an injector is not firing off the way it should. And I noticed this thing has been kind of like a, eh, a little sluggish here of late. That's probably why. That'll wrap this up. If you like this battery cable and cleaning video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this battery cable cleaning in video, battery cable in cleaning video, give it a thumbs up. We thank you for watching and please tune in again. Are you still here? Oh. Off.